Ever wondered what to drink while fasting? Fasting isn't just about what you're not consuming, but also about what you are. Understanding what to drink during fasting is crucial to maintaining your health while reaping the benefits of your fast. In this video, we'll guide you through a comprehensive list of drinks suitable for your fasting journey. From the basics like water to more specific beverages like coffee or tea, we'll cover them all. Hold tight as we unravel the mystery of fasting drinks. We start with the basics. Can you drink water while fasting? The answer is a resounding yes. Not only is water permissible but it's also essential. When we fast our bodies still need to stay hydrated and water is the best way to make that happen. Hydration is key to maintaining a healthy body, especially when you're fasting. It helps to keep all our bodily functions running smoothly from our metabolism to our cognitive processes. Now you might be wondering, what about carbonated water? Well you're in luck. Both still and carbonated water are acceptable when fasting. They provide the hydration your body needs without adding any calories or sugar. This means you can keep your fast intact while enjoying a refreshing drink. And remember, even though you're fasting, your body continues to need water. So, never underestimate the power of water during a fast. Now what can you add to your water? It's not just about plain H2O. Consider adding a pinch of sea salt to your water. Why, you ask? Well, sea salt is packed with essential electrolytes that your body needs to function properly. When fasting, your body can lose these vital minerals, which can lead to feelings of fatigue or even faintness. By adding a touch of sea salt to your water, you're not only enhancing the flavor but also replenishing these crucial electrolytes, all without breaking your fast. Now, if you're someone who craves a little sweetness, consider drinks that use stevia as a sweetener. Stevia is a plant-based sweetener that doesn't spike your blood sugar levels, enabling you to maintain your fast while satisfying your sweet tooth. So, whether you're adding a sprinkle of sea salt or a drop of stevia, these simple enhancements can make your fasting journey a lot more enjoyable. Remember, a little enhancement to your water can go a long way. Moving on to the caffeine debate, can you enjoy coffee or tea while fasting? Let's delve into the world of coffee and tea. Many fasting enthusiasts swear by these caffeine-rich beverages, and for good reason. Coffee and tea are more than just comforting drinks, they offer a host of health benefits. From antioxidants that fight inflammation to caffeine that boosts metabolism, these beverages can complement your fasting regimen. But there's a flip side to this coin. The caffeine in coffee and tea can lead to restlessness, insomnia, or an upset stomach for some. Plus, if you're used to having your cuppa with milk or sugar, you've got a problem. Adding these extras can break your fast due to their calorie content. Interestingly, our bodies react to caffeine differently. For some, a cup of black coffee or tea can suppress hunger pangs, making fasting easier. For others, it might just have the opposite effect, stimulating appetite and making the fast more challenging. Here's a handy tip. If you're new to fasting, try observing how your body responds to caffeine during your fast. If it's all good, feel free to enjoy that steaming cup of joe or soothing tea, but remember it should be unsweetened and without any additives. So, the verdict? Coffee and tea can be your fasting friends, but remember, moderation is key. There's more to fasting drinks than just water and caffeine. Let's explore other options. When you're in the throes of a fasting period, you might find yourself yearning for a little variety in your beverage choices. Fear not, there are other fasting-friendly options available to you. Take coconut water, for instance. This tropical delight is not only refreshing but also packed with essential electrolytes like potassium and magnesium. These help maintain hydration levels and balance your body's pH. Next on our list is herbal tea. A great alternative to caffeinated drinks, herbal teas offer a broad palette of flavors to choose from. Whether you fancy a soothing chamomile or a zesty peppermint, these teas can be a calming addition to your fasting routine. Plus, they come with the added benefit of various health properties from aiding digestion to reducing inflammation. And we can't forget about bone broth. This nutritious concoction is derived from simmering animal bones and connective tissues. As unappetizing as that might sound, bone broth is a powerhouse of nutrients. It's rich in protein, helps maintain gut health, and can keep you feeling fuller for longer, all of which are critical during a fast. So there you have it. Coconut water for hydration, herbal teas for their calming properties, and bone broth for its nutritional value. Each one has its unique benefits, and they all provide a pleasant change from the usual water intake. As we see, fasting doesn't mean you're limited to just water. And finally, what to eat when you end a long fast. This is a question that has puzzled many a health enthusiast. Breaking your fast is just as important as the fast itself. 
The key is to reintroduce food to your system slowly, gently, and with intention. Imagine your digestive system as a sleeping giant. You wouldn't want to wake it up abruptly with a feast, would you? Instead, start with easily digestible foods. Hydrating fruits and vegetables are a great choice. Think watermelon, cucumbers and celery. These provide hydration and fiber, helping your digestive system wake up gently. Next, consider adding a small portion of lean protein. This could be a boiled egg or a piece of grilled chicken. Protein is essential to repair and build tissues in your body. What about drinks? Stick with simple and soothing options. A warm cup of bone broth is an excellent choice. It's packed with nutrients and electrolytes that your body craves after an extended fast. Herbal teas are another good option, providing hydration and a soothing effect. As your body adjusts, gradually reintroduce more complex foods. Listen to your body. It will tell you when it's ready for more. And remember, break your fast as you started it, with intention. Be mindful of your body's signals, respect its process, and most importantly, enjoy the journey of rediscovering food. Remember, breaking the fast is just as crucial as the fast itself. That brings us to the end of our fasting drinks journey. We've explored the basics, from the humble water to the fizzy, carbonated variety. We've delved into the caffeine debate, highlighting the roles of coffee and tea. We've also uncovered other fasting-friendly beverages like coconut water, and discussed the importance of sea salt and stevia. Finally, we've shared some insights on breaking your fast. Stay hydrated, stay healthy, and remember to like, share, and subscribe for more health tips. Until next time.